This is the plug in. This is Doobie Powell's uh, signature uh, peculiar sounds. Uh, and it's, this is a standalone VST works in uh, works for Mac, works for PC. Uh, so all you Windows cats, all you PC cats, um, uh, it works for there. You have everything locked and loaded. This is the main interface. So as you can see, we have several things here. We have the uh, envelope so you can mess with your attack and delay and uh, release and all of those things like that. Um, meters, you got the pan, you got the width for stereo width. You got glide, which we're going to be digging into that really, really dope. Uh, that's one of the signature pieces of this plugin. High pass, low pass filters. Uh, we have activation for uh, what we call our pro effects, which are activated from here on the front. You can turn on your reverb. You can turn on delay, uh, saturation, and you've got dynamics, which is compression and EQ. But also, also what's dope, you can go in here and get macro with it because we got the pro effects, pro rack effects loaded into this joint. Uh, you got the reverb and you can control every aspect. So some of you guys haven't seen this part. Y'all just been looking at uh, this part. But there's a whole nother segment we got here with uh, the pro rack effects. You got all of the control, the macro control over all of the parameters of the delay, uh, the tremolo, uh, all of those things like that. But there's two pages of this. So this is effects page one. And then this is effects page two where you got some saturation, you got some limiting and we got some modulation effects like phaser and chorus. And we're going to be uh, adding in some more effects as this thing grows and, do and jumps up. But let's 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 hear it. Let's check it out. This is like the default patch. You know what I'm saying? So that's just pad. This is called Doob Sign, Doobie Sign. Check it out. Let's keep going. This is on the glide pads. So like I said, these are the sounds. sounds that you've been looking for bro Ooh. you know what i'm saying let's keep moving oh this is one of my favorites You know what I'm saying? Keep it moving. Oh, this is just a patch without the uh, without the glide, without the uh, pulse on it. Ooh. You know y'all been looking for that. You know what I'm saying? So the one of the dope things about this plugin is that you have control over the glide. So these are our glide pads. It's all of the stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? So I can go with something like, okay, yeah, this is one of my favorites. So say if I want to adjust that glide, I can literally go up here and push it up some more. Mm. Now, one of the dope things about this, let's check this out here. I'm going to show you guys something because normally to get this effect you know we would use like our pitch not our, our pitch being you know what i'm saying and we would like glide into it but with this plug-in you don't have to do that you can legit just play the chords Ooh. You know what I'm saying? And it'll do the work for you. So that's one of the signature things with this plugin that we kind of worked in. So um, just going through glide pads, everything is in here that you need for your bread and butter and produ production. So we got bass sounds. So we got 808s. You know what I'm saying? 
Oh, not the eight oh. There's the eight oh eights up here. You know what I'm saying? Got eight oh eights. You got. I'm saying just instant inspiration you know what I'm saying oh yeah this is one of my favorites So you hear how that opens up, you know what I'm saying? Really, really dope stuff. I mean, just instant inspiration. So we got the bass, we got these bells. You know what I'm saying? Like, even like bell pads. You know what I mean? So, bells, but here's what's really sick. We got Doobie's drums in here, bruh. Kicks. Woo. You know y'all been looking for that. Woo. Smacking claps. I mean, you got the drums in here. You can play them out. Woo. You know what I'm saying? So it's just everything smacking right where it needs to go. So you got that. Going to do pad, uh, Whew. all of Doobie's signature drums. And effects. Whew. You know what I'm saying? Junk like that. So you got that. And then we went through some of the glide pads, but we've also, we couldn't leave out the keys. So I know you guys been wondering, did we get Doobie's Rhodes? Did we get the Rhodes in here? And yes, we did, bro. Got that instant tremolo, but check this, I can adjust it. So maybe I want it to be a little bit less dramatic, adjust the width on it. Got different flavors of the rose. So you got them, you got them dry, you got them chorus, phased out, chorus and phased out. A little bit of verb on them. Then you got the FM.
You know what I'm saying? So you got that loaded. FM keys. You know what I'm saying? But check this. We got some because it's peculiar sounds. So we kind of had to tweak them and fl flip them a little bit. So you got FM no attack. saying <clears throat> glide roads no i'm saying Ooh. man you're not getting any sounds like this bro anywhere else Tarish. I mean, just instant inspiration. This is one of my favorites. It's called Lifeless EP. Whew. I mean, it's just like, that's just like, you can just, man. Just feels so good. Uh, we got the clavs in here. You know what I'm saying? So clavs, uh, keys, pads. We got like all kind of pads, all kind of pads, bro. Ear pad. You know, another peculiar sound. Ooh. DP's pad. I know some of y'all are listening to this. And y'all are like, man, like that's the sound I've been looking for. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, this is one of my favorites. really cool just really nice pads but this one funk pad bro That one is really, really dope. But here's the thing that's dope about it. And this is why we call it a funk pad, because, yes, it has all of the little funkiness on the front. that will give you like all of that. But you can also record it. It just opens all the way up. Bro. I mean, just. See what I'm saying? So this one is really fire because it just gives you multiple, multiple things in one. Of course, we had to get this in there. 
<laughs> you can really, you know, for those of you who want that, you can get extreme with it. You know that little wiggle. I want to play around with it. But it's really, really dope. K-Pad. Mellow Pad. So it's just sounds for days. So pads, but we got strings as well. I'm going to kind of fly through these because I want to get Doobie up on screen soon. talking lush strings and then all the way to these type joints See what I'm saying? So you're able to really do every type of genre. There's no limit. It's not just set up for like, oh, you can use this to do some R&B pop type joints or some gospel type joints. Nah, like this could, you could score with this stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying so you could you could do it's just limitless we got strings and then of course we got the synth leads uh, we had to get them in with this kind of stuff you know had to get those classic doobie leads I mean, so much inspiration. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just, a, that's just the vibe. That's just the vibe that we're in uh, with that. So that's pretty much Peculiar Sounds. I mean, it's locked in uh, with all of the top sounds that Doobie has used in his career. And I could be here all night. It's over 100 of his personal sounds from his personal collection uh, that he has used on all of his records. We literally opened up sessions, opened up records, and dug through sounds and we was like, yo, we got to get that. Yo, we got to get that. Yo, we got to get that. Yo, let's pull this one. Yo, let's do this one. Let's do that one. Let's do that one. And so we found like all of the iconic stuff that was a body of work and we built it into this plugin that you guys can use and uh, and drive. One other thing I want to show you guys real quick that I just thought about is a couple of things on the interface that I negated to mention. One, you have a user preset section that you can uh, easily uh, add your own presets so you could tweak whatever sound you want, you know, add in the reverb and the saturation and the delay and tweak the release and just, you know, have your way and do your glide and mess with the width. And, you know, what I mean, like really get in here. And then when you say, OK, I like that, you can go down here to use a presets and you can hit add and you can create your own preset for that particular um particular instrument or whatever and it'll live inside of the user presets folder uh but you can also add these presets to the actual menu you don't have to use the user presets this is just a nice place where you can organize your own personal uh presets but uh you can add anything tweaks and stuff that you might make to the actual 
uh, use a preset folder to the actual pro folder of drums or bass if you want to stay organized. But something else that's dope is that you can also favorite sound. So say that's my favorite 808 or favorite bass or favorite pad. And I want to keep the drums in favorite. Uh, I can do that or I go here, favorite this, favorite that. And then you got your little star up here. So when you hit that, here's all of your sounds that you favorite it. Uh, throughout the plug throughout the plugin that you can instantly recall at any second you know what i mean to pull those up the other thing you can do is also search so i can type in like bass and it'll pull up all of the bass or the patches that's got bass in it you know what i mean and then i can use that and search through all of just those so there's very you know there's the search there's favoriting there's user presets we also got midi mapping so anything uh not just on the regular home screen but even here if you want to map to your midi controller i can easily you know hit learn midi cc and i can turn and now i can tweak that using my you can't see it on screen but i can tweak that using my uh, midi controller uh, and really mess around with all of that stuff like that just uh, within there. So everything is MIDI mappable on the interface uh, and you can also favorite and create patches. So I wanted to throw that in there uh, for you guys uh, to have uh, have that in there. So that's pretty much peculiar sounds. Let me see what some of you guys are saying in the chat. I missed, you know, I've just been going ham. Uh, make sure I didn't miss any questions or anything like that. Nice. I'm gonna have to rewatch. I missed all, almost all the sounds. Oh, price. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, sorry about that. I I talked about that on the front end. Uh, the price uh point right now is ninety nine. It's also in the pin comment. If you're what, depending on when you're watching, if you're watching on YouTube, it might not be in there. Uh, but I think it's in the description of the video. But it's also um down uh in the pin comment if you're watching like on facebook uh 99 intro uh is the cost it's a 99 intro and that's going from now until december the 2nd which is next friday uh we're going to be doing the 99 intro thereafter it's going to go up to 149 so if you want to get it at this intro price the time is to jump in now and grab it while you're on the uh while we're in the intro period all right Yep, mellow pads are dope. Yep, 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 yep. So you guys have just been going in on that. But yep, so that's it. Uh, let's see, I think, I don't know if Doobie is still, let me see if Doobie is, is, is in the building, if he's ready to go. Uh, let me see here. We're going to get Doobie up on the... Um, Oh, he's using the bathroom. <laughs> so uh, let, I can, I'll be I'll be glad to add while we wait on Doobie to come back because he's in the stream. Uh, he's just waiting on me to bring him up. Uh, if you guys got any questions while we're waiting on Doobie to uh, ch jump back in, uh, I'll go ahead and answer any questions you guys might have. Said I had an issue with mine. I hit up support. Cool. Absolutely. Yeah, hit it up. Uh, it's been we've been loaded up today really this entire week because of black Friday, because the sale, uh, all of those things like that. Um, it's been a little bit heavy on the customer service side. So I, I bear with this. I'm probably going to be answering back some stuff after the stream is over. I'm going to be jumping in and doing those things or what have you. Um, layering sounds, uh, currently at this point, uh, there is not the capability to layer in plugin, but I'm looking into bringing that into a future update. But right now you can do the traditional, just add another channel and layer, you know, those sounds that way by using, like that's for those people that are using it live. Say you wanted to use one of the pianos, uh, which I don't even think I showed. I know I showed the roads, but I didn't show that we have piano in here as well. So if we come out of here. We have some really dope pianos uh, in here as well. That's bold piano. That's one of my favorites. But we've got like regular pianos. Nice. 
know, you got pianos and all of those things like that. Um, so you could easily, easily layer, uh, you can easily layer, uh, layer sounds just by stacking channels and stuff for that point. But we're working on a regular way to like actually layer sounds and app, but it's not a heavy CPU, uh, plugin. It's not heavy. Uh, on CPU at all. I'm talking like you're in like you're in Ableton or in Elijah. You're talking about you're using one sound. You're getting maybe one or two uh, percent usage, and it's uh, all streaming really fast, straight from the hard disk. You can stream your samples from external hard drive if you want to. All of those different options like that. Let me make sure I got another question. I think Doobie's back, but let me make sure. Uh, this looks so tempting. Go ahead and jump. Go ahead and jump on it. I know it looks so tempting. Go ahead and grab it, bro. Any ideas on iPad app? Uh, we're exploring those ideas. We haven't made a decision yet. Ready for mine? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. This guy says, uh oh, I moved out of the way. It wasn't a comment. <laughs> John Mike affiliate, so I can test the plugs via this uh, while well, they're in beta. Beta, huh? That's funny. All right, so we'll come back to questions in just a little bit. If you got questions, put them in the chat. We'll definitely, uh, definitely do that. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna bring my esteemed guest up on the stage. Uh, it is none other than the Doobie Powell. Uh, we got him in the building. We got the man, uh, the myth, and the legend. What's good, bro? I don't know if you're still on mute. You might be on mute. I'm going to wait on him. Get the goat. We're going to wait on the goat to get his mic turned though. Come on, dude. Can you hear me there now? we go. We got you, Doc. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Well, okay, man, welcome to the stream. I know everybody's happy to see Doobie in the building, man. Thank you for uh first off, thank you, man, for allowing uh allowing me to uh capture your sounds, man, and to bring your vision uh of this. Uh, to Farisha, man, thank you so much for just allowing the, us to bring this to the community in the way that we have. Yeah, thank, thank you, man. This is a, this is a dream come true. Uh, it's actually kind of surreal because these are one of wow. the that me and my dad talked about before he transitioned. He said, "I need wow. something like this." Um, you know, it came from his mouth, so. Uh, wow. I'm just happy that, you know, this actually came to fruition, something that he spoke and to me. Um, it's something that I always wanted to do. I just didn't, I didn't know uh, <laughs> where to begin. Um, right. And uh, a lot of people always ask me <clears throat> for, for my sounds or what am I using? And uh, I never really felt comfortable just telling everybody exactly what, you know, sometimes I would right. a few, uh, a few nuggets, but I didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't want to give out everything that I would use because then, you know, it, it would become a thing where people was using, start trying to figure out how to do it just like you and i always wanted to figure exactly. out a way. i don't i don't never have a problem with giving away uh what it is that i do or how i do it you know but sometimes you still want something to be you know right booted or to a point where you you know you just don't have everything <laughs> you know but this right. was this was a way i felt like i can give a piece of me still 
a piece of my mind. Exactly. And, and uh, you know, how I'm thinking without giving away how I derive to that sound. Right. Um, you know, because all there's so many different things you can use and they all kind of generate the same way. They all come to their conclusion of a sound the same way, which is we're just taking that same format and uh, right. making that what it is, you know. So I, I thank you, man, for helping me bring this vision to pass, man, and, and uh, just being such a an innovator and a, a, a future thinker um, wow. than, than most, you know, some people only you know, there's a lot of people out there who have the mindset to do something, but they only can take it to a certain level or a certain point. Mm -hmm. and, and then there's there has to be uh, someone else to come in and, and say, hey, this is, I know how to do the rest of this. I know how to take that right. and make it this. And, um, you know, I thank you for that, man, because I, I, don't, I don't think... I don't think we would have been here right now. <laughs> right. If, if it, well, you know who, uh, what, what was it? Uh, 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 Leandria that, uh, connected us. Um, uh, you know, cause she had hit me up and she was like, yo, like Doobie wants to, wants to rap with you. I think what was it initially? It was, uh, it was the drum sounds. I think it was, you was thinking about doing like a drum pack or something like that. I think it was. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Cause people, a lot and the of chops and stuff. I think we was talking about that. The drum sounds and chops. So yep. that's that, that as I far as that. I thought of that first, you know, and then. Yep. And then I was like, nah, we, man, like those are cool. But I think what people really want, they want them sounds. That's, that's what they really want. And then you, you just went on the journey with me, man. It's just that's what's been dope. Yeah. Yeah, it was a, it's a, it was a beautiful journey, man. You know, just, it was a beautiful journey to me, just seeing the process of how we created. I've seen other cats do it, but, you know, yeah. like, the, you know, the, the A-listers and all those type of people, when they come up with sounds, yeah. you know, I, I always marveled at how, you know, the process of, of this, you know. Yeah, so same. I'm, I'm I'm in it now. I'm ready to. I'm ready to drop some more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we we've been talking uh, about this in the in the background, uh, and so you know, the, the more you and this this is another segue to push you guys for supporting, uh, supporting this because not only are you supporting uh, Doobie and what he does and what he has done, and and I know many of you are here and you guys have showed up and support the way you do because of what he has meant to the community. And what he has poured in musically, uh, I mean, basically a musical godfather to most of us. Uh, we all grew up, um, you know, in, in that in this, especially in this region over here on the East Coast. Um, you know, that influence just kind of trickles down all across this this space. So what you've you know, been able to really contribute, not just from the song music standpoint, but even just as, you know, church musician and playing and imparting into others and doing those and just the power legacy all together from your dad, your brothers, you guys are, have been, uh, you know, very instrumental in a lot of people's journey uh, musically. So I think it's really, really dope to be able to crystallize this uh, into something, into a format that people can can take. But it, it allows us to uh, by you guys supporting the way you do, it allows us to keep furthering the development of this because we've been talking and we're not going to dig too much into the minutia of what we've been talking about, but we've been talking about different ways that we can expand this and build this out. And it's all going to be predicated upon how you guys support the development because development is not cheap. It seems like, Oh, we were woke up and we just decided we was going to do this, you know, and then it was, Oh, next week is out. Let's go. No, we didn't start on this last week. I've been working on this for six, seven months. And I'm talking like coding it, doing all those things, working through all of the, the development, the code, the development. The uh, We've been beta testing. We've been uh, doing all of those different things like that. Uh, so it's it's a process. And I, it's not for the faint of heart. 
and getting into this, stepping into this journey uh, is not for the faint of heart. And I've understood that as I've been growing into this myself. Uh, so, yeah, development is not cheap. It's not cheap. It's this is not for, you know, we're not doing this because we just think it's a good thing. We just want to do something. We do want to do something for the community. Don't get me wrong, but we do want to further this. And we got some different ways that we've been thinking about. It. And it's going to be predicated upon how you guys support uh, as the community uh, on this, man. But, yeah, I'm excited, bro. I'm excited about what 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 this is going to turn into. And like I said, we're looking to get in. And for those of you who support, you get it. Uh, we'll be able to get you guys the um, uh, the expanded sounds, the expansions. And, uh, you know, we'll probably you know do some other things like add in like some of the questions you guys were asking about layering uh, and uh, all sorts of other little fancy things that we got to get into back into the coding phase and really figure out how to make it. I know some people have been asking about iPad and different things like that. That's a whole nother le leg and a whole nother layer that we have to dig into. But again, the more you guys support, the, the better it's going to allow us to really further the development, further the push of this and the growth of this. But man, uh, again, dude, man, thank you so much, man. Let me see if we got some questions. I'm looking here on the side. I uh, got my computer over here. Just got got the uh, got questions and stuff over here. Uh, Corey Fuller said, "Doobie, what's up?" What's up, Corey? Uh, St. Louis. Yep. Is that St. Louis? Name another artist that has Doobie Powell sound and style. Uh, I can't name. I can't name anything, man. It's, it's, it's super dope. Like you was talking about your sound and the way you've developed your thing. One thing I, I, I learned years ago and I was telling somebody this because I got a revelation on it that like you can tell people what you do. Show people like I can tell you exactly how I put this app together. I can tell you exactly how I did this as a, from a business standpoint or exactly how I've scaled this or built this or done this or done that because I started to understand this years ago was that uh, I can, and I've said this before, you guys probably know what I'm about to say, the ones that have been following me for a while. I can show you my hand. I can show you my hand, but you'll never have my fingerprint. You'll never have my fingerprint. And that's something I, 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 a revelation I got years ago. Like everybody's fingerprint is unique. So they can take the sounds. Every, and even like even in this process, like, man, we got we had several producers and beat makers. And you guys heard some of the tracks on the front end of this. And there's a bunch of other ones we loaded up on the SoundCloud that we're going to be sharing over the next few days. Like when you give producers like these sounds, they come up with di a producer. Producers know how to come up with different flavors, how to take what's already there, flip it and make it their own. And mm -hmm. it's been amazing to me with the producers I've been working with with beta testing and doing tracks and stuff how they were able to just take the same stuff that doobie's been using in his flow and in his you know um sound those same sounds and flip them into a whole nother perspective you like dang like that's really really dope you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. really, yeah, really that's really dope. Uh, yeah. i love what i've been hearing from the different different cats man it just it just shows how powerful creativity is. Exactly. Uh, Corey Fuller, he said, Doobie single-handedly changed uh, how we approach gospel music. He made it cool to take risks and be ourselves. Uh, the world still hasn't caught up to the genius we know him to be. That's Mr. Corey Fuller had to drop that on us. Wow, man, that, that means a lot. It means a lot, Corey. Especially when, you know, you get to hear stuff like that because you don't hear it often. So especially with being, being an uh, innovator and being original that that's something i'm big on uniqueness and originality man and it's it's something that has been uh taken from the creatives uh in this new dispensation or level of life everything is surrounded by or around a specific thing so you hear the same thing a million times, you see the same thing a million times, and then 
there's no, you know, authenticity of what we're doing. So, you know, the uniqueness and the originality gets pushed to the back burner because that's that's not what everybody's uh, focused on or, or people say the world, but I, it's more so the industry. <laughs> Definitely, definitely, man. Really, really dope. I think I see a question here that says, will you, will you do a mashup for MK Sensation video? I'm going to be looking into that. That's something that's actually dope. So those of you who use MK Sensation to stream, that's my big bro, um, Jamal Hartwell, gospel musician, is very inspirational in what I'm doing. I talked with him last week. He gave me a whole lot of encouragement uh, to push into this and really – uh, really mentored me in this. So, you know, I'm really, you gotta, you always gotta give glory, not glory, but credit. That's the word. Uh, we give glory to God. We give credit to, to, uh, to humans. <laughs> so I give, <laughs> gotta give credit where credit is due. Um, and, and Jamal has been very instrumental in my journey as, you know, a musician, um, a church musician, and now to being a businessman as well, because he's a genius businessman, and uh, and also uh, now as a software developer coming into that path, uh, it's been really really dope to have someone like that to kind of mentor uh, mentor you and tell you the pitfalls and the things to watch out for and the mistakes he made and all of those things like that. But yeah, he uh, did MK Sensation Extreme, which is basically I don't know if people know this about MKS Extreme that it is actually more than just like the MKS sounds, you can actually load plugins, external plugins into MKS Extreme, uh, which is really, really dope. So you can load in Omnisphere or you can load Keyscape into MKS Extreme. That's what he uh, changed the game with that. So you could take Doobie Powell's plugin and you can load it into MKS uh, Extreme and be able to use that and layer that with your other sounds and all the other stuff that you're doing. So that's a good idea. I might actually do something like that. That'll be a good video uh, to do. Uh, how large is the library? Uh, it's over 100 sounds um, uh, that, you know, we sat with Doobie and he crafted. We, we, we curated his sounds. And then we, we also took them from there and even curated them and created presets and created vibes, you know, and on unique. So a lot of this stuff, I think you was you was I think we was talking about this earlier. A lot of the stuff that's in here uh, is even some stuff that you didn't even put on any records. It's just like some totally new sounds that we created. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah. Some totally new stuff. So we got some stuff in here that Doobie had it that he's had that sounds that he liked but he actually hasn't used. So you guys have got some unreleased sauce in this joint. So I think that's, I think that's really, really dope. Yep. 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 Yeah, you gotta have, you um, gotta have pounds. You never know when you're going to need them. Exactly. Now uh, you never know. Uh, will there be any vocal samples in the future? Uh, that's something we can explore. That's something we can explore. Yep. Heard the demo and it's really, really cool. Awesome. Well, that's it. Like I said, this is uh this is the plugin, guys. It is an amazing um uh plugin if you want to go check it out. We got uh it's got all of the bread and butter sounds, all the doobie signature patches, his roads, his leads, his synths, uh his strings, his pads, uh all kind of stuff like that. Of course, this video is gonna be left up. Uh, on all of the channels, on all of the spaces that you guys can go uh, back and rewind and watch and check all of those things out and stuff like that. Uh, there's a link. There's a pin link. I believe I pinned it up everywhere. I pinned it up on YouTube. I pinned it up on uh, Facebook uh, down there that you can click straight in and go straight to the website and you can uh, purchase your copy of Peculiar Sounds uh, and be able to get it now while it's on the intro sale, 99 for the intro. And then, uh, it'll be 149, uh, after that. So if you want to get it, if you want to save some money, uh, go ahead. Did we also got a full on other black Friday sale? I haven't been talking about that much, but you guys have still been supporting. And I appreciate those who have been supporting doing just the general black Friday sale, but I got 50% off of everything on the gospel producer site. So while you're over there checking out Doobie Pals, plug in, feel free to check out all the other stuff. We got master classes from John Yash and 
Aaron Lewis and David Outing and um, so many other producers, uh, great producers and stuff. Uh, the late, great Paris Bowens. I sat down and did a four or five hour masterclass on auxiliary. The Art of Ox, and it's by Paris Bowens, the late, great Paris Bowens. We spent uh, about two or three days recording that class, and I was able, fortunate, um, to be able to capture that guy's genius before he left this planet uh, to be home, go be home with Jesus. I was able to capture his genius. And um, and so there's a whole body of work over there with just Paris uh, that you can go and consume and see the process of how he did what he uh, what he did while he was here. But it's things like that. We got pro drums. We got mixing templates. It's just a buffet over there and it's 50 percent off. Uh, so you guys can go check that out. Man, Doobie, you got anything else you, you want to share with the people? No, man. I, you know, I just I just want to say thank you, man. Thank you to everybody that's uh, supporting this. This is, you know, we could say what we think you should do all day long but it's until you actually decide to put your mind to something and actually do it is when it's effective so i thank you all who's um you know jumped on to the idea of this um and we're gonna you know this is, we're gonna keep going this is an encouragement yeah. and an answer for us Absolutely. to keep pushing forward and, and um, as we were doing this, me and, me and John was already thinking in, of the next step of this. Um, mm -hmm. So we, we ready for y'all. <laughs> we ready, we ready. Yes, sir, man. Well, we appreciate you taking out the opportunity, man, uh, especially over this holiday weekend and doing you guys go support. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff that's going to be dropping over the next few days. That's going to really uh, be it got some really special sauce that's going to be coming. In. I got to actually I have a one hour interview um, that we did with Doobie. Uh, podcast where we, we're going to drop it on the podcast and it's a whole hour long deep dive into Doobie's life and his career. Uh, I'm excited about sharing that with you. So you guys will probably be seeing that over the next couple of days. Uh, that interview was really, really dope. We did it down in Myrtle Beach uh, where we got to hang out and hear some waves crash against the sand. Uh, so mm. it was really, really cool. Uh, so I'm going to be sharing. I know you're ready to go back, right? <laughs> I'm, ready. I'm ready to go back. Man. Man. Yes, sir. Uh, hey, but uh, we, yeah, we're going to. Don't forget, I got a single drop today, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Tell me about that, bro. Um, I did a tribute to Bobby Carwell in Common. Um, mm. It's a, a take on Bobby Carwell's Open Your Eyes and Common's Delight. Uh, that was my one of my favorite songs when Bobby did it back in the day. Um, and I, I love Common's uh, approach to it, Common and Dilla. So, you know, I wanted to pay a little homage, plus I just wanted to put my take on it. Um, so we dropped that single on Bandcamp today, and it'll yeah. be everywhere else on December 2nd. You can, you know, all the uh, Apple and, you know, Spotify folk. Um, you'll be able to get it on on December 2nd. But right now, if you don't want to wait, you can go to bandcamp.com and you can get it on there. Yeah. And it's going, it's, Man, it's go going. grab it. I heard it. Uh, he let me hear it. He privileged to, to let me hear it a couple of days ago. And it was really, really good. Really good. So you make sure you do. Make sure you guys go and sip. And I think you got the link up on your on your page, I'm sure, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can. Yep, it's on the, on the page. You can go, just press the button, and uh, it'll get right to you. If not, you can just go to Bandcamp and type my name in. It'll come up. There you go. Go check it out, guys. It's really, really dope. Uh, last question I think just came in. Does it work on all DAWs? I believe so. We're working on the thing we're working on right now is Pro Tools is the .aax format. Uh, we don't have that ready yet. That's in development. Hopefully within the next week, week and a half, we'll have uh, an AA, AAX version ready for you Pro Tools user 
uh, users. But if you use Blue Cat Patchwork, uh, and if you're a Pro Tools user, you already know about Patchwork. Uh, you you can load it up in Patchwork and it'll work just fine. I have a video uh, uh, showing how to do that as well once you purchase if you use Pro Tools. But it should work in every other DAW and on every platform, PC and in um uh, uh, Mac as well. All right, guys, if you guys got any questions, feel free to to hit me up, hit Doobie up, let us know, and we'll answer those questions as best as we can. Uh, but we appreciate you guys hanging out with us on all platforms, and we appreciate Doobie uh, for hanging out with us for a little while and allowing us to sample just a piece of his genius and share it with the world. So we're excited to keep, um, keep working on that. All right, so uh, we'll talk to you guys a little bit later. We're going we're going to end it out. Thank you so much. Thank you again, Doobie. Thank you, everybody else. We'll holler out. Peace. I'll let you boy.